Live with arrests in the murder of a moped rider, police say was randomly targeted by his killers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jim Snyder. And I'm Marie Mortera. 37-year-old Jonathan Dean shot and killed earlier this month in the Northeast Valley. Tonight, two men suspected of killing him are in jail. News 3's Antonio Casalan looking into their arrest report. Marie, this Metro Police report says the victim, Jonathan Dean, did not know the suspects. We are told through this police report that the uh, suspects were just looking to rob a man on a moped. 37-year-old Jonathan Dean was the man riding on a moped when police say two men in a car decided to rob him. This Las Vegas Metro warrant lays out the specifics right before the shooting happened. It reads, the driver of a Mercury Mystic was riding around with suspects Tommy Rios and Mario Oseguerra. According to the police report, Rios and Oseguerra told the driver to turn around when they spotted Dean on his moped. The men told the driver they wanted to rob Dean. The warrant claims Tommy Rios pulled out a gun and pointed it at Dean from the car window and yelled for him to stop. Police say the driver told his friends he would let them out of the car, reportedly telling them, if you are going to do this, I'm not staying. The men got out of the Mercury near the Cheyenne Point Apartments on Las Vegas Boulevard and Cheyenne. Police say Rios and Oseguerra confronted Dean, and that's when one of them pointed a 22 caliber gun directly at him. The report says Dean tried defending himself with a portable speaker he was carrying. He swung it at the suspects. The robber fired and hit Dean in the chest. Dean fell off his moped and died at the scene. The two men were caught on surveillance running from the crime. The Metro Ward goes on to say the driver of the Mercury contacted police to turn in his friends. The driver led detectives to Oseguera's home. After police did their investigation, they arrested both suspects. The suspects are facing murder and attempted robbery charges. They are here at the Clark County Jail with no bail. They are expected to appear before a judge next Thursday. Reporting live, Antonio Castellan, News 3. Antonio, thank you. It is the first day of 